the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dear children welcome back how are you all you all like to eat ice creams chocolates pastries and all other sweet items right i know but taking them in large quantities is not good for your health at the same time you have to have all the vegetables and fruits that are available in the market then only you will be able to grow stronger also maintaining oral hygiene is very important you have to brush your teeth twice a day also when you eat something sweet you have to make sure that you are cleaning your mouth then only you will look good when you smile and you know what happened with ranbir right he was not at all taking care of his teeth and all his teeth were decayed so what happened to him a tooth fairy came to him and she took him to the wizard of dentistry do you want that to happen with you no right so take care of your teeth okay now let's move on to our topic today i'm going to teach you nouns you know what are nouns right but today there's something new for you to learn irregular nouns all of you take page number 58 grammar plural nouns recall that nouns are names of people places animals and objects around you as you already know nouns are names of people places animals and objects around you they can be used in the singular or plural form fill in a few examples of your own okay so in page number 58 a column is given in which some nouns are given we have to make it to its plural form so tree is given tree is given how do we make it to its plural form you uh, you know the rule already right whenever tree is given we add s to it to change it to its plural form tree we add s to it it becomes trees what did we add to tree to tree we added s it became trees so we added s and it became plural tree singular trees plural tree is singular and trees is plural In the same way bird bird is singular when there is one bird sitting on a tree it's singular and when there are many birds sitting on a tree we will add s to it to make it to its plural form that is birds we added s to it okay we added s to bird to make it to its plural form so bird became birds now bus b u s bus what do we add to bus to make it to its plural form in a bus stand if one bus is standing we will say bus okay what what you will say bus what you will say bus but when there are more than one bus or many buses what you will say buses we will add 
E S to it. What we will add? We will add E S to bus to make it buses. That is its plural form. B U S E S. Buses. Okay. We added E S to bus to make it buses. Bus is singular and buses is plural. So everything which is here is singular. What is it? Singular. And everything which is here is plural. Why is it plural? Because we are adding s s e s. Okay. So this is singular and this is plural. Now, fox. Fox. We add e s. Okay. Like we added. es in bus we add es in fox also okay fox in fox we added es it will become foxes f o x e s foxes okay what did we add to fox we added es and it became foxes okay what did it become foxes now here blanks are given in that you have to make your own sentences come to the next page page number 59 okay page number 59 leaf leaf we will add what we will add v e s v e s this comes under the rule do you remember whenever a noun ends with the word uh, ends with the letter f whenever a noun ends with the letter f we will add v e s to make it to its plural form okay keep it in your mind whenever a noun ends with the letter f we will add v e s to it to make it to its plural form so here what will happen to make leaf to its plural form we will cut f and add v e s what we will do we will cut f and add v e s so what it will become l e a l e will go here l e a l e and v e s will come okay v e s leaves so leaf leaves leaf leaves now what is the next one calf c a l f calf calf is ending with the letter f okay calf is ending with the letter f so which letters will come in the plural v e s okay remember this whenever a noun ends with f we will add v e s to it to make it to its plural form so calf we will add v e s to it this f will go so it will become c a l v e s calves okay calf became calves now baby here also a rule is there okay next one is baby here whenever a noun ends with y its plural will end with i e s here the y will be cut off so only b a b will come here b a b and we will add this i e s to it i e s so it became babies baby babies baby babies okay there is one more that is lady ladies same like baby lady also ends with y so when it ends with y when making it to plural we will add i e s to it so lady will become ladies l a d i e s we will add i e s to lady to make it ladies now we have learned nouns and its plural form so what are irregular nouns here all these nouns follow certain rules for example when a word ends with s 
we added es to it when a word ends with x then also we add es to it when a when a when a noun ends with f we add ves to it and when a noun ends with y we add ies to it and for all the other nouns we add just s so there are certain rules for this right these are the nouns which are regular they have certain rules according to that we make it to its plural but there are certain nouns which doesn't have any kind of rule or something it's not regular as we see here so those nouns are called irregular nouns you're still confused right let's see some examples then all your doubts will be cleared all of you take page number 62 page number 62 in your studio So these were the nouns and their plural form now let's see irregular plural nouns page number 62 first one what is given sheep first one is sheep first one is sheep sheep is given in singular form now we have to make it to its plural form what we will do Plural is also sheep. Okay. Sheep is singular. And while writing in plural also it is sheep. We will not add anything to it. S, E, S, I, E, S. We will not add anything. Sheep is singular. Sheep is plural. While writing in singular form you will write sheep. While writing in plural form also you will write sheep. And the next one is deer. D E E R deer. Its plural form is also deer. I hope you understood now. In nouns, what happens? We add certain letters to it to make it to its plural form. But what is happening here? So that's why it is called irregular plural nouns. They don't have any kind of rule which we have in singular and plural nouns now for tooth when there is one tooth we will say tooth when there is one of it we will say tooth when we are talking about all of it it is teeth okay tooth is singular and teeth is plural okay this is singular And this is plural. Okay. Tooth becomes teeth. Now goose. You can see goose in the picture, right? So what is the plural form of goose? When there are many goose, they are called geese. When there is one, we say it is goose. When there are many, we will say geese. Next one is foot. Foot. And you see the picture of foot? One boy is stepping his foot onto something. He is keeping only one foot. But when we are talking about both, we will say feet. Food becomes feet food when there is one feet when there are two now the next one man man mm, you know milkman postman but when there are many we will say men milkmen postmen okay man becomes men when there is one man, we will say man. But when there are many, we will say men. Okay? When there is one milkman, we will say milk man. When there are many, we will say milk men. Okay? Now turn your page, page number 64. Here, child is there. Child. Child is 
child means you you are a child but when your friends are also there when everyone is there they are called children all together okay children when there is only one child it is child and when there are many it is children person when there is one person we will say person and when there are many we will say people okay and the next one is mouse you all know mouse right mouse picture is given when there is one mouse suppose there is one mouse at your house that is disturbing you that is tearing all your clothes eating up your things that is mouse when there are many we will say mice m i c e mice mouse became mice when there came many mouse to your house mouse became mice when will mouse become mice when there are many we will say mice you will not say mouse when there is only one you will say mouse when there are many you will say mice so let's recap everything that we learned we learned singular and plural nouns and we also learned irregular plural nouns when it's regular we say just plural nouns singular and plural but when the nouns doesn't have a certain rule like we add es to it ies to it ves to it these rules are not applicable to irregular plural nouns these are the irregular plural nouns sheep is singular its plural is sheep deer is singular its plural is also deer tooth is singular and its plural is teeth goose is singular and its plural is geese foot is singular and its plural is feet man is singular and its plural is men when there are many we will say men child is singular and when there are many we will say children person is one and when there are many people we will say people mouse when there is only one mice when there are many so i hope you have understood irregular plural nouns learn everything and also some of you are still confused what is singular and plural you are learning singular and plural from your lower classes right so you should not say that you don't know what is singular and plural singular means when there is only one of something and plural means when there are many i hope you have understood what is singular and plural nouns and also what is irregular plural nouns copy everything that i have written on the blackboard to your notebook and learn it also you have to learn once twice and thrice then you will get thorough with it we'll meet soon with another video till then you have to watch this video again and again to make sure that you have learned everything so cover everything and we will meet next week with another video till then take care bye bye